and welcome to Summer Sparking Good Time. My name is Summer and today we're going to do a closer look. Today's closer look is from the Diamond Painting Shop, shop spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. And the kit we're going to be looking at is the Seasons Autumn 1900 by Alphonse Muca. Okay, you're going to get your box. It's going to be branded with the uh, company name. It's going to tell you it's all inclusive and see the back for contents and that they support their artists with every purchase. Okay, on the very back of the box, you're going to see, I got round uh, drills to their actually acrylic, the square R resin. It gives you your kit contents, what is diamond painting, how it works, and how they're supporting artists. The kit is comes um, in clear cellophane with a um, image on the cellophane. I have pulled that out and used it on something else. What I did for storage reasons was I printed out a picture of the kit and just on the label paper and just put it on the top of my box. So there is our box. Okay, you're next going to find your toolkit. It's going to come in this plastic uh, bag. You're going to get your drill pin with a single brass tip placer on one end and a three placer on the other end and your squishy. They also give you your choice of a four and ten thin plastic multiplacer. You're going to get a pad of wax. You're going to get a masa tray. And you're going to get a set of tweezers. Please note that there is going to be a cover on the tip of your tweezers. The tweezers that come in the diamond painting kits tend to be extremely sharp. We actually call them murder tweezers at our house. So it's best to keep the tip on, uh, the tip cover on to save yourself from having any accidental injuries. I've um, heard a couple of different content creators say they ran into injuries due to um, their murder tweezers. <laughs> okay, it's also going to come with this sticker sheet. And this sticker sheet where you're seeing the yellow is where my labels for my um, drills were. I've already kitted this up because we don't do the crinkle on this channel. Okay. You can also cut this out. Use this in your uh, logbook if you'd like. Um, and it, there are more um, blank labels I can use later if I need. Okay. So there's that. Oh, it is a 22 by 8. Or whew, let me try this one more time in English, y'all. It is a 22.8 by 52.4 inch or 58 by 133 centimeters. Round drills, 54 colors, eight of them are ABs. Um, I'm going to be doing a video, um, which is going to be a segment I call uh, Tutorial Tuesdays, where I'm going to uh, show you how I plan on being able to manage this canvas being so long. In case you're not good with math or numbers, um, for us uh, in the U.S., this kit is four and, it's over four and a half feet tall. Yeah. Well, apparently I'm not good with numbers. It's four foot, four inches. Four, yeah, four foot, four inches. 52 minus 48. Yeah, four foot, four inches. Sorry, I had a moment. Okay, let's talk drills. Okay. There's a lot of drills. You have your full Elizabeth Ward. And there's even another section. Two rows of the six on this one. Um, when I told you on the cellophane, there was a label. This was on the end. I'm using it so I know that these drills on this section are for this kit. So, the drill. Number one is 152. It is a very um, soft pink. Two is 224. Another soft pink. This one has more of a peach tone to it. Color number three is 301. It's a very um, tan, tove, a very muted brown uh, tan color. Three, or <laughs> color four, which is 310, is our standard black. And there's not very much of it at all. Color five is 315. It's a very, very muted plum 
almost mauve tone. Color 6 is 336. It's a very, very beautiful dark blue. Color 7 is 350. It is a very salmony orange. Very, very much an autumn tone. Okay. Color 8 is 351, which is a very bright salmon. I have so many lights on me right now, I don't know if I can see the color. So I'm hoping you can. <laughs> color 9 has a letter A. It's 352. And it is a um, peach, a very true peach color. Color 10, denoted by the letter C, is 372. It's a very muted jade green. Color 11, denoted with a D, is 400. And it's a very just pale brown. It's not, it's like a true brown tone, but it's not that dark. Color 12 denoted with an E, is color 402, which is a very, um, let's see, how would I describe that? It would be um, a color, like, it's, it's like a, a darker peachy, almost taupe, beigey, like what you'd see um, normally, like on Caucasian skin shading, that more color. Okay, color 13, denoted with an F, is color 435. It is a very odd taupey brown. <laughs> 14 with the H is 436. It is very close to the other color, but with maybe a more, of a, more of a hint of yellow to this one. Okay, 15, number J, or number J, letter J, <laughs> is 472. It's this really bright green, like a, it's like a pale, uh, like a pastel, but it's pretty vibrant, if you can see that. Um, I was not expecting. Um, let's see. 16 with the L. This color 498. This is beautiful, like, ruby red color. Maybe garnet. It's just the dark red. 17 is M. It's 519. It's a beautiful pale blue. Eighteen has a symbol. Don't ask me what that symbol is. Don't even know. It's color 738. And it has a very uh, beige. Just beige. I mean that's all I can say about that color. It's beige. <laughs> 19 with an N, color 740. This is a very bold, vibrant orange. 20, 741 with the O. Then it's another vibrant orange, but there's a touch more yellow to this orange. Seven forty four, color number twenty one with P is a very soft yellow. Color twenty two with the R is color seven seven two. This is an even softer muted jade. Similar to the um, vase. This looks like if you watered this down a whole bit, it, yeah. You know what I mean. Color 23 with the T is color 779. This is a very dark plum. Almost brown plum. Or a brown with a hint of purple. Take your pick. Okay, color 24, noted by the V, is 801. This is what I think of as true brown. I think this light might be my problem, but there. Is that better? The true brown, maybe. Aha, that's good. Okay. And that is a large Elizabeth Ward plus a, I, denote, I normally denote them small, or mini, small, medium, large. So you have mini, small, medium, 
large. And it is a large and a small to get all the drills. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't even know why I put that back. Color 25 is an 814. This is a darker garnet color. Almost with a hint of purple in this. 26 with a Y is 819. It's a very, very soft, pale baby pink. 27 with a star is color 924. And it is a very, very dark, dark teal green, but like really dark. Reminds me of like a 1997 Honda. <laughs> 28. As the percentage sign, it's 927. It's a muted um, teal. 29 with the equal sign is color 947. Is another very vibrant orange. Vibrant. Almost neon. It's a little bit. Uh, there's a couple of these colors. I'm like, these are a little bold for what we're looking at. Where is that coming at? Okay. Color 30 denoted with the lowercase a, 976. This is a mustard yellow that is a little tint more of the tan side than a true mustard yellow. Because when I look at 977, color 31 with an E, this to me is more of a true mustard yellow. And it's one shade off per DNC. 32 with a lowercase h is color 987. It is a very muted jet dark jade green. 33 is an up arrow. It's 3713. It's a very soft baby pink, but not as soft as the other one. 34 with the um, turbine symbol. Um, I'm not sure what you all call that. I call it a turbine because um, wind energy. It's color 3726. It's a very mauve color. I know it's not pink. It's not purple. I don't know what it wants to be. 35 with the blue background and a white dot is 3768. And it is just a smattering of this very dark jade green. Oh, it's like, what, what happened here? Okay, so 36 had too much to fit in a extra large, but I needed to have the overflow go in a mini. It's at the anchor symbol, 3770, a very, very pale peach color. Let's see. 37 with a pound sign is 3771. It's a very normal peach tone. 38 with a dollar sign. Yeah, that's the dollar sign. It's 3776. It is a tan with a touch of orange tint. 39 with the pink background with the black box around it is 3779. It's another of the peach tones with a hint of pink to it. Color 40 with the sidebar. I, I don't know what else. I call that the sidebar because it's at an angle and it's 3822 and it's just a pretty soft yellow. Color 41 with the robot head <laughs> or the android or the TV with the sticks, whatever you call it, it's 3830. It's a very pretty dark coral is my best description of this one. Color 42 with the sideways, um, have mercy. How come? Hourglass. Hourglass. I was kept trying to say timepiece. And I'm like, that is so wrong, Summer. It's not a timepiece. The sideways hourglass or bow tie, depending on how you look at it, is 3845. It's a beautiful, bright blue. Like, kind of caught me by surprise, this one, too. Okay, so that's all that would fit on my top tray. So let me get us down into our second tray. With the last little bit, and we're getting to the good stuff because the bottom trays where all the A B's are. Yeah. Okay. 
So color 43 with is the um, the upside down L um, is 3856. It's a peach tone with more of an orange yellow tone. 44 with the no, stop, do not enter. 3858 is a really nice chocolatey brown with almost a hint of purple in that chocolate brown. Beautiful color. Down right, color 45 is 3859. This is just a shade lighter than the one before. It's that, it's just, it, the tone of these colors are really beautiful and very much um, reminiscent of autumn. Okay, uh, my triangle in, for color 46 is 3862. It is in that same family we were just looking at, but not so much of the purple tones to it, uh, more of a yellow tone. Now we're at the ABs. Color 47, I keep going a little too far, is 349 AB. It has the greater than symbol. It's a beautiful red AB. I'm going to be called that red. It, it, it's a salmony red, I guess is the best thing to say. 48 with the check mark symbol is 775 AB. It's a very, very pretty soft pastel blue. 49 with the plus symbol is 938 AB. And this is like a dark chocolate ab it is so pretty oh you guys it is so pretty and it's got a whole lot of sparkle color 50 is a lowercase t it's 995 ab and this is a bold vibrant blue ab gore this is one of the prettiest abs i have ever seen it is beautiful beautiful i really hope that they gave me too much of that because i might need that somewhere else Color 51 is the, I call it the window panes. I'm not sure what anyone else calls that symbol. <laughs> it's 3078 AB and it is a uh, beige off-white AB. Very pretty and it's kind of nice. Here, let me show you. Uh, this is next to the uh, 5200 AB white. So, I mean, it has much more of a yellow beige tint. It's not really off-white. It's more into the beige with the yellow undertones. All right, so that was 51. Can't get out of order here. I'll be confused. 52, which is the, um, I call it the hands up <laughs> or the mustache, depending on what day it is, is 3756 AB. It's a very, very pretty soft, um, almost green, but not like a mint. It's a very soft mint AB. There we go. And I have some stowaways in there, a yellow one. Then we have 53, which is the up arrow. And it is 3801 AB. And this is just a shade different than this one. This one has more pink where this one has more red. But they're both in, I would say, salmon undertones. And then, like I showed you before, color 54, lowercase n, is our 5200 AB, which is basically a white AB and gorgeous. Gorgeous. And look how much there is. There's a lot. <laughs> like... Honestly, there's eight ABs, and um, they were not stingy with our eight ABs over there. They were not stingy at all. Let's see. Can I get it all on frame? If I do this one. There we go. Let's be sure. Look at all that AB. That is a lot of ABs. A lot. So I call these the large, these are the mediums, this is the small, this is the mini. That's a lot of ABs. That's over a full row of your Elizabeth Ward trait of ABs. It's a happy time. Okay, guys. Here's our little close-up of the drill field. Found the figured out the camera settings and the light settings so I didn't have a glare. But as you can see, the drill field on this is... It's, it's just fabulous. I mean, it's super clear. There's no oversaturation. It's just perfection. 
just utter perfection. Hold on, I want to see what is that. Okay, so what we're seeing it right here, that is the uh, do not enter stop no sign. But there's nothing else around that that looks anywhere near similar that it would be a problem okay that is my uh, uh the, the i had a hard time with the uh, how large this the uh, plastic was trying to smooth it out and i think i made it worse than i started with Okay, the dollar symbols. Yeah, everything everything is looking clear. I don't see anything that's gonna, you know, make you look like you're mixed up or anything. Let's go slide. Sir, get him away. Oh, oh, this canvas is so big. Like especially over here where it's like all similar colors. Um, maybe the, the white on the pink is a little light, so you might need a light pad for that. Um, same with the three. Oh, I'm going to zoom in. Um, everything else is just looking absolutely fabulous, guys. I'm not seeing anything that's making me go, mm, now what? Yeah, I think if um, if there's a problem, it'd probably be the white symbols on these lighter colors. But I don't see any problem with the white on the darker colors. That would probably be my only suggestion, is not to put white symbols on the paler colors. And when I'm looking at this, I'm assuming... They didn't think about it because the color underneath, because these are round rows, so you know we have to have the color, is it would not be as um, muted if it was on it. So if there wasn't um, the guide circles or training wheels, as some people call them, I don't think it would even be a problem. But it's when they put those guide circles that it's, so like you can see, it, I mean it's not as prevalent over here in the X, but I mean do you see what I'm talking about? But then if you look over at the E, where'd it go? See the E with the black, much easier. And the P and the J. So yeah, I think that if they weren't doing a lighter guide circle, it would not have been a problem. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the clarity is really good. So um, if your eyesight does sometimes have a problem with the... Um, lighter symbols or maybe uh, get your light pad out um, other than that I don't see like there's gonna be a problem at all so there's your close-up of the drill field okay once again thank you so much for joining me at this closer look at autumn 1900 by Alphonse Muka from diamond painting shop and that shop with two P's and an E um, if you enjoyed this please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button um, like subscribe uh, hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos do the comments. If you're looking for people to talk diamond painting, I'm your girl. I'm looking for people to talk diamond painting. I'm hoping that this channel will help me find new friends that have the same interest I do and that I can find myself an online community and it'll be amazing. Um, that's all I have for you today. Um, there will be a video showing how I'm planning on working on this kit um, and managing the length of it. Um, so stay tuned for that. All right. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Love y'all. Bye-bye.